those things. Hey everybody, today is February 1st. I'm Mr. Sheridan. This is Natural Resources for today. So last week we talked about different careers in agriculture, and then we moved into some basics on how to create a resume. What we're going to do today is uh, part of your portfolio that's going to be due at the end of this unit is going to be an actual professional resume. So today, what I'm assigning is a rough draft of a resume, and I'm going to give you some uh, details about that as we move through. A couple of announcements first. If you haven't seen in two weeks on February 16th, we are planning to come back full day, all day, every day in school for those of you who are able to uh, to come back into school. So uh, a lot of things changing, a lot of things still up in the air schedule wise. If you have questions about that, please let me know, but make sure, make sure, make sure that your parents have seen that note and that your parents have um, filled out the survey for every single one of their students that are between the grades of seven and 12, they have to fill out one of those surveys. So for them, for people who have multiple children, you need to fill out multiple surveys. So. Here we go. We are uh, we're back to resumes. We this is what we are going to work on here for the next little bit. So if you go into your uh, Google Classroom under week 23 under resume rough draft, there's two documents here. The first is an instructional uh, document that tells you what you need to do. So last week on Friday we did a presentation. The instructional video for that is posted in the agenda. You're welcome to go back and look at that if you need some tips on how to get started in a resume, what type of information you need, what a career objective is, those things are all covered. We covered them all last Friday. So what your assignment is, you need to be applying for a job at one of the six jobs that you covered last week when you were exploring agexplorer.com. So during that process, you should have created a slide deck with six different careers on it. You get to pick what your favorite one is. You need to apply for that job with your current information. You might not be qualified for that job yet, and that's okay. But what I want you to do is practice writing your career objective based on something that you want to do. And you're going to have to write a cover letter, which is like an introduction to yourself for that job. We'll get into what cover letters are more moving forward, but you're going to have to do that. So I want you to pick one of those jobs that you're going to focus these assignments on, typically, or just to be able to have a, uh, a starting point and you can write a career objective and that sort of thing. So you're going to create a resume that has all of these things on it. You also need to include three references, people that are not related to you, and you need to tell those people that you are putting them on your resume as a reference. For those of you who say, I, I don't need a resume, I'm not applying for a job yet, guess what? All of you should, you know, I, I mean, you all do what you want, but I imagine that a lot of you are gonna be applying for summer work. I imagine a lot of you are applying for part-time jobs in and around things. You seniors are going to need references for scholarships for all of these things you need to have some people who are willing to have their phone number listed on your resume so they can be contacted about your credibility. That can be coaches, teachers, administrators, pastors, youth group leaders, priests, people who are in your community, people that are not related to you outside of Unless there's a situation where you're working a lot for a I could see where an uncle or something like that could maybe be a reference, but it's still a little fishy. I'd much, much, much rather them not be related to you. So the other thing I wanted to show you today is that uh, there is a website out there, and we can thank Megan Sorensen for this. She found this for us. So called livecareer.com. Does a really nice job of coming up with a bunch of cool templates for your resume. So what you're doing is you're basically going to fill out a bunch of information on this site and it's going to spit out a resume that you can then edit and that sort of thing. Um, so when you uh, click through this, most of you are going to be working zero to three years and you're going to say that, yes, you are a student. And what it's going to kick out is a whole bunch of these templates. And you can either click through these recommended, traditional, modern, creative. I would just select all and kind of go down through them and see which ones you like. There's a whole bunch of different ideas here. 
you'll see that a lot of these have colors on them. I am going to recommend that you do not use color, that you actually, and you can see down here that you can actually put all these in grayscale. So it's still gonna give you some shading. It's still gonna give you some contrast uh, between, and this one right here has a couple of different shades of gray, but they're not a, uh, necessarily an actual color. So you're going to, uh, so that's going to work, but there's a whole bunch of different, so you can see all the different types of outlines down here, which template you choose is your decision. I, um, you know, some of these that are simpler that are going to highlight your attributes, that's what you're looking for. So you're going to go down through there. You're going to create your resume and I would like a rough draft due by the end of class tomorrow. So if, uh, if you have questions about that, the first place you should probably go back and, uh, and look is the uh, instructional video from Friday. So you can get some pointers and tips on that. You could also go back attached to Friday's uh, class and the guided notes in there. There's also the actual presentation. So you can skip through that if you'd like. But I need a rough draft of a resume by the end of class tomorrow. Questions? from anyone. Actually, let me finish my recording here, but um, I will see you all back here again tomorrow and we will talk more about this and uh, be able to look through some folks' things. So we'll just plan to see you back here. Have a great day.